today we are going to look at leaf structure so photosynthesis takes place mainly in the leaf so we are going to look at the suitability of a leaf for photosynthesis so we'll look at the leaf parts and their functions so i'm going to draw the leaf structure so this is the leaf structure cross-sectional so you can see that I have two similar layers here and here and this line here represent the top layer then I have this layer, then I have this layer and this face out then I have this uh, feature here uh, which is an open space so let me label and explain further so I will create my space for labeling so this upper layer here it's a wax uh, called a cuticle it's a wax layer called a cuticle then here this layer of cells is uh, it's called upper epidermis then this one labeled in blue is the palisade layer then this one uh, labeled in green is sponge layer and these two layers uh, the one in green and the one in blue is called the uh, mesophyll layer then here, here these cells are called lower epidermis then the opening here is called the stomata so the function of this cuticle layer is to protect the leaf and to prevent loss of water through the upper layer then this uh, upper epidermis it allows uh, light into the leaf then the palisade layer has cells called the uh, chloroplast which contains chlorophyll so this way photosynthesis much of photosynthesis takes place then we have this sponge layer uh, which is spacious to allow gaseous exchange then we have this uh, face, uh, vein with two vessels this is called the xylem this is called the phloem the xylem is for carrying water and mineral source to the leaf then flowing is for carrying food from the leaf to the other parts of the plants so uh, these are the two vessels in a vein then here the lower epidermis the lower epidermis is also similar to the upper epidermis but the functions here uh, it is lower uh, small pores here called the stomata to allow gaseous exchanges here so this general the structure of the leaf the cross-sectional structure of the leaf so let me write some notes on these parts so for the, for cuticle uh, which is the thin layer thin wax layer so this is the thin shine transparent layer on the upper surface of the leaf it protects the leaf from too much sunlight and it prevents loss of water through the upper surface of the leaf so we, we also have upper epidermis this one cell thick layer below the cuticle it allows light to pass through so it allows light into the leaf so we already know that the chlorophyll absorbs light energy from the sun so this upper epidermis allows light to pass through and it forms a protective cover for the leaf it covers the lower cells then we have upper epidermis which is also one cell thick layer at the lower uh, surface of the leaf it has small pores called the stomata for gaseous exchange then the palisade layer the one which consists of palisade cells which contains uh, chloroplasts the chloroplast contains chlorophyll 
this way most of plant food is manufactured through the process of photosynthesis then we have the sponge layer it consists of cells which have intercellular spaces to allow passage for gaseous exchange cells have very small amount of chlorophyll so which means photosynthesis is less here than in palisade layer then we have mesophyll mesophyll combines the palisade layer and the sponge layer then this way main, uh, main food synthesizing is done so the tissues that uh, do most of photosynthesis process is found in the mesophyll then the stomata which are small pores on lower epidermis they allow gaseous exchange during photosynthesis, respiration and transpiration so these are all processes that takes place in the leaf then we have the vein which contains two vessels which are the xylem and the phloem so the xylem carries water mineral salts to the leaf then the phloem carries food which is manufactured through the process of photosynthesis from the leaf to the other parts of the plant Thank you.